What's going up, everyone? Ah, oh, volume. Okay, let me get rid of that. Hello, everyone. What's going on? Today, I'll be playing some more Bee Swarm Simulator. And today, uh, I will have some tips and tricks of how to get a few things. So, the first tip and trick is how to get free ant passes. The first tip is to finish the real final showdown. Because after that is the next line of quests, which is ants in this 20B zone. Defeat 10 ants. That's the new thing. Ants. Also, there's a free ant pass behind here. You just go all the way over here. I already got this. But back here, you can see there's a free ant pass. And every time there's a uh, brown bear, no, not brown bear, black bear quest, no, panda bear quest. Oh, I'm getting my bears mixed up. Every time there's a panda bear quest, you get a free ant pass without having to wait two hours, which is really nice, especially at the start when you only have a couple. So, yeah, I have the school day that I'm going to use. Please be a legend. It's a Bucko Bee. Great. I mean, that's one more bee added to the collection. One more bee to the 30 bee zone. But I don't even have 25, so. Still a little while till I get that. So, I'm going to go do the ant challenge. And I'm going to get the paraglider soon. Also, how to get a stir egg. Once you get your bees, to, all your bees to like, most of your bees to level 6, go to the uh, tunnel bear, which is in another video. Go to there and get the tunnel bear. Beat the tunnel bear, you get a free gifted bee. It's a gifted silver egg, not a stir egg. It's a silver egg, so they'll probably get like a rare out of it. Gotta wait to do the ant challenge. Second way to get quick pollen. Pollen quickly. Is to use field boost. I'm not gonna use it right now. They're not going to waste it. But, you get pollen so quickly. If you go to the red HQ, the blue HQ, and the mountaintop field. It's so good. Now, I'm going to go by the paraglider. So, let me go in here. <coughs> <coughs> Mm. There we go. Five million glider. I just called it a pair glider for some reason. I don't know why. So, once you get that, you get the, around the map super quickly. And I'll leave you there for a second. back. Had to deal with something for a second. Uh, I hope you liked that, uh,
pollen montage. So let me go over to the B. No, the the ant challenge. Do the ant challenge. And then I'll show you guys how to get out of the map. That's right. I'm going to show you guys how to get out of the map. And it's actually really simple. All you need is to be in the 14B zone. No, the, the 25B zone. Use the red can to go up there. Use other can. Okay, I'll show you guys. Gotta kill 10 ants. Regular ants. But that isn't that hard because, well, they are just regular ants. Put some of those rages. Which are gonna be nice. Yeah, guys, if you want to defeat ants quickly, use rage. Make sure you have some rage bees because they're really helpful for defeating stuff. Oh, okay. Tried to close the door of my room, but there, first there was a sock. That now there was a shoe. Actually, it was the other way around. First it was a shoe, then it was a sock. A bunch of socks. Num. Yummy rage. And your rage can only go up to five. Unlike other things that can go up to ten. See, so you can't just, like, one shot, like, the king beetle. So if you level up your bees to like level billion, you probably could do that. That would probably take hours. Okay, flying ants, my least favorite of the ants. Except for the lawnmower. That's my least favorite thing in here. Nah. Although having the paraglider, having a, the having the glider, I'm just go ahead and call it the glider. Having the glider instead of the parachute is really good, but even having the parachute is really good for getting around and surviving, because, like, if you're, like, cornered right over here, blah, 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 you could just, like, paraglide yourself away. What just happened? I just got out of the map. What the? Well, I defeated my 10 bees. I mean, 10 ants, so. Not really that bad. I'm also saving up a bunch of stuff for the Mother Bear quest. I only need two more uh, sh sunflower seeds and spider drop sunflower seeds, so that's why I'm saving up. I've also got all these gum drops that I'm gonna use on stream. Probably this August. Maybe. Cause they're not gonna do another stream till August. I'm kinda booked this whole month. So I really just. Also, there will be gaming video. Uh, I did not do my question today. So there also. Uh, there will be gaming videos while I'm in Rhode Island, along with the vlogs. I'm just gonna record, and then post. I'm gonna record a bunch of videos, and then post them while I'm in Rhode Island. Which isn't gonna be that hard. Hopefully. No spider back yet, because I just defeated the spider. Okay, let me go up here. <coughs> Bucklebee's now level 2. Oh, right, because he isn't leveled up yet. Oh, I forgot. <clears throat> now they have a nurse showing up here again. It looks like there's time for some more of them. 
and won't be enough. They didn't count on you. On secret weapon. What? Talk to me again when you're ready to defeat more ant. There we go. Winged whack attack. Ten flying ants and fifteen ants. Not too tricky because I just got free ant pass. They have some honey. Not too bad. What I really want to get next? I know what I'm gonna get. Beekeeper's mask. And eh, that's a bit advanced. Right now. No. I just have to remember not to use the paraglider. Well, near the wall, because apparently you can glitch outside the map. And that apparently counts as dying. So, on it, if you're watching this video, which you're probably not, but if you are, you gotta fix this thing. You gotta fix this door. Like, seriously. We can't just have people. You can't just get outside the map. Using a paraglider. Oh, guys, be sure you have, uh, no pollen in your pollen container when you do the, uh, glitch outside the map, which I'm going to show you, show you after this. Because it does kind of get rid of your ants. No, it does. There is no way to get back in after you do get outside the map. <laughs> was so close so close Right now, the tunnel bear would take about 15 minutes to kill. And I'm just not patient enough, so I'm gonna wait till my bees are level 9 to do that nonsense. No, I need to defeat them! Not defeat. Need to defeat the flying ants. Not defeat me. Actually, I could probably do this. The lawnmowers don't come. Oh my gosh, I hate the lawnmowers. They are the worst thing in here. I probably already said that. But they're so evil. Because all they do is just kill. There's nothing fun about it. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. No. My five bees going to be gone for this. What's after here? Yes, Devil Bee's level 6. Nice. Mm hmm. There we go. The fire ants are too bad. I mean, it's not like they have, like, like, they'll attack you or anything. At least I don't think so. So I think I'm just about fine. Now I only need, uh, three more level six bees. At least I have all this fruit ready. All these treats ready. Of course I'm not gonna- The giant ant was invisible! You saw that. You guys saw that? Okay, I have two more. Four boiled jellies, so. Look at me. Yep, 
Yep, I'm gonna use keep that to fire. Okay, seems to be glitching. This fire be no, he gives just red bombs. Back to the boiling. I mean, if he was Bumblebee. Nope, you. It's a rare, so no. No, it's a cool bee. Eh, I haven't seen a cool bee in a while. Hmm. So. Now. I've not completed his quest. So, I'm gonna have to wait a few hours? Yep. Definitely am. In the meantime, I'm gonna feed a couple of treats. Sorry, bees. Actually. Yeah, who's close to leveling up? Oh, yeah, you're really close. I'll just give you... Ten. Do that. I might be saying I should use the strawberries, I mean blueberries on him. Yay, level 6. Honeybee, not really close. Honeybee, not really close. Doby is level 6. You're getting... Wait, you're already level 6. Uh... Nope, definitely not. No, let's we'll just... Let's we'll just... Like, we need to level you up. I'm going to go 